Hey YouTube, it is Monday, uh, November, is it the 5th or the 6th? It's one of those days. Anyway, how are we all doing? The weekend was great. I enjoyed reading your comments on my last video about my little H&R rant. Uh, I looked back on it. Um, I rewatched it. I was like, gee, Amy, you really took this personally. But I did. I did take it personally. Just so you know. So, anyway, I will be wearing the our de the dress tomorrow um, because the size 10 actually does fit. And I would have been doubly pissed if I ordered the size 4 on the website because the 4 would not have even gotten over my head. The 4 fit, I mean, the 10, I don't know where they're sizing, who sized what, whatever, but the 10 is perfect. And then I went there today. Um, and I found the floral tights, so I think that'll look cute, the dress with the floral tights. They're a size small, we'll see if they fit. But, and they only go up to a medium. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that's that. Thank you for all your responses. It was nice to know that I was not the only one who felt a certain way about this whole nonsense. So, let's get to the outfit, because I have a couple of things to show you. Today I am wearing this old Zara floral uh, blouse. This blouse was all the rage when it came out <laughs> a couple of years ago, maybe four or five years ago, maybe six years ago. Um, so yes, old Zara blouse, J. Crew um, blazer, which I pretend is a Balmain blazer, <laughs> and um, J. Crew slacks, and my uh, Mark Fisher. Um, floral mules. <sighs> Where I pulled out the Alexander Wang bag. I didn't really want to wear her again until I get her some love because she needs some love. The handles are very, very much worn. I wore this bag literally every day for a year when I got her. That's how much I loved it. And you shouldn't do that because you wear out the bag. So I really need to take it to this bag um, place to get it you know, just polished and loved up. Um, yeah, so on the eyes, I had to run out of the house today, so I just did something really um, simple. Uh, earrings, uh, I didn't change them from last week. My floral earrings and just the two uh, gold dots. And yeah, necklace is a lip ring, girls to uh, lip necklace. Girls Talk L&M uh, pendant and my uh, Chanel uh, long chain, Hermes cuff, same two stacking rings, and that is all for jewelry. And incidentally, um, that J. Crew dress I got all over the weekend went down to 43 bucks with it. They had some flash sale, so you know I got my money back. So the lip dress was $43. And then, Picked up a couple of other things from J. Crew, uh, which I don't know. Put these down. We'll see if I keep it. The reviews on this are horrible, but I thought it was so cool. And was, I'm very into the Dior uh, celestial stuff. Not into the Dior price. So this one from J. Crew. It's just a cardigan with the sun and the moon and stars. Um, J. Crew has is notorious for crappy sweaters. I've found for the last couple of years, and the reviews on this says they people wore it once and it pilled like crazy. So we'll see. Um, I did manage to get it down to forty five dollars, so I may keep it and just depill as I go along because I love the sun. I just I love the. Um, the little patches on here, which I could go buy my own patches and patch up a sweater, but I actually like the sweater itself too. I love the oversized cardigan, like men's style cardigan. So I got this in an extra small. I believe it's still available. It is. It was 110. I think it's back to 72. But over the weekend they had the flash sale, and I got it down to 45 dollars. So I may actually end up keeping it. And then I got these pins which I thought was very Gucci. These are from J. Crew. They're just um, slacks, and they have little bees on them. <laughs> the bees are, are they embroidered? This, 
Yeah, I guess it's it's kind of embroidered. It's been it's embroidered, but it's not the. I at first I thought this would be a problem because I didn't want like especially where you sit. I didn't want it to start like the threading coming up. But I don't think now that I'm looking at it, I don't think it can. But I just thought this was very Gucci, very nice thick material. These I think are still available in very select sizes. These are marked down to like 33 bucks. So I just thought it was very cute. Um, and in navy blue, which I love. And in my lovely bee print. And then, yeah, was, while I was walking in between, I have uh, two offices. I was walking in between, and then I thought, oh, I'm gonna wear the Erdem dress tomorrow. And then I was like, duh, I should have got the tights, because they had the tights in, you know, full abundance. So I was like, ah, oh, stupid me, I should have picked up the tights to wear with the dress and um, a pair of Zara loafers I have. It would be a little cute and edgy, whatever. Instead of just plain black tights. So I happened to go back to H&M just to see. I um, mean, they did have a few pieces of the Erdem collection left and they did have um, the floral tights. So hopefully they fit because these are a small, um, and it was only extra small, small and medium. So I don't, I don't understand that. But I think they'll be cute with the dress. So I'll wear these tomorrow. And if I put, if I punch a hole in them, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> I shouldn't. I just gotta be careful. I will still wear them wholly because um, they're kind of thin nylon. But I thought they were pretty enough, and they were there waiting for me. So yeah. So yes, that is it for my little shopping today ordered a couple of other things that I can't wait for to get in the mail because now I'm I think I want a conch piercing with the hoop but for the time being I just ordered a um a faux ring a faux conch ring from catbird uh, gold to go here to see how I like it um and I may just stick with the faux conch piercing for a while because I that is a very hard stiff piece of cartilage and I don't really know if I want to go through that pain plus I don't really want the scar in case I take off if I take off the earring I don't know if I decide I don't want the conch piercing anymore any of you guys have conch piercings let me know below what do you think of it do you still love it was it annoying to heal how long did it heal was it painful to heal such so forth and so on um yeah so that is it for today I will talk to you tomorrow take care Hey YouTube, it is Tuesday, November the 7th. Um, I am about to head to lunch. It is a gray, rainy day. Well, it hasn't started raining yet, but it's supposed to. Um, but I am gonna go down into Brooklyn to get my faux earring, my faux conch earring from Catbird. Um, toying with the idea of getting a real conch piercing but that's not gonna happen for a while because I need these two ears these two piercings to heal and this one to further heal so I figured why not get a faux one in the, for the time being um yeah so that's what I'm gonna do right now uh, so and uh, so let's just get to the outfit today I am wearing my Aerodem uh, an H&M dress with the floral tights and um, a pair of loafers from Zara. Um, like I said, I found these tights at the last minute yesterday because as I was walking, I was like, hmm, I don't want to just throw on plain black tights with this dress. I want to kind of zhuzh it up a bit. So I ran back to the H&M store and these were there and I was like, yay. So I really like how the floral on floral looks. I have kind of used, these tights are thin. They're almost nylon, so I don't wanna poke a hole through the toe because they're just, they don't have the reinforced toe. So what I did was put, um, you know those little footies that you can buy? So I put the footies on first, then put the tights on because these babies need to last me a long time, $24. Um, so I'm gonna be very careful not to scratch. I will have a snag that nail. On the eyes, I am wearing um, Naked Basics palette. I think it's the first, second one. That's the only one I have. And uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills up in the crease because I need to warm up that Naked Basics palette. It's too cool for me, but I do love the gray, which is what's on the lid. Um, and yeah, jewelry. Since I'm going to Catbird, I was gonna 
shoot them, you know, give them a what's up. I'm wearing my cat bird uh, moon and my cat bird star. And this teeny other little star, if you can even see it, is from Etsy. Um, that is the earrings, necklace, my girls talk, uh, lip necklace, L&M pendant, and um, yeah, nothing really new on the fingers. Um, and this is my Hermes cuff. I'm just just wearing my continuing on with my Alexander Wang only because I didn't feel like changing out and it went with what I'm wearing. So I am on my way. Um, it is chilly. Oh, and it's only supposed to get to like 50, 40 degrees on Friday. Oh, it's chilling up. So I just threw on this um, <clears throat> wool coat by Zara. I actually have a thinner version of this, but this is the heavier version that I have. That's your plane. Black coat. Um, these come in handy. That is it for the day. I may or may not come back to show you my ear cuff. I have to go to, after lunch, I have to go to my other building and there's no place to film there. Um, so I may just come back tomorrow and show you how it looks and um, what I think of it. So I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Hey YouTube, it is, what is today? Today is a Wednesday, November the 8th. Um, I'm just sitting in my car waiting for the bus, so I figured, you know what? Why don't I get my outfit of the day over with today? <laughs> um, so let's get to the outfit. I am wearing my, uh, I think this is, yeah, this gray turtleneck from H&M and uh, this a tulle skirt from Banana Republic. The skirt is still available. The coat is from Coach, and the shoes are my Soul Sauna boots, the gray booties. First time wearing them. I bought them sometime last year. Uh, on the eyes today, I am still wearing the same thing I wore yesterday. Not still, I mean, I washed it off and I just reapplied it this morning. <laughs> um, the Naked Basics Palette 2 and my Anastasia, uh, some of my Anastasia uh, Modern Renaissance with the pink. I like this combo. And I haven't chosen a lipstick yet. I don't think I'm going to put anything on until after breakfast. Um, ears. Ah. Show you my new ear piercing. <laughs> Just kidding. This little beauty is from Catbird. It is an ear cuff meant to mimic the conch piercing, which I am really wanting but dreading because I think it's going to hurt like crazy. Um, I really want the conch piercing though there. And um, sorry, I did a sea, a sea salt soak this morning so I still have salt on my ears. But I really, really love the, the way that looks. So I may actually have to go get a conch piercing now. But then I'm gonna, for initially, I wanna get a ball, like a, a bar. I don't wanna get the hoop because this one, I think it's because it's a hoop that it was pierced with, which is why it's giving me a little bit of trouble. Although these two were pierced with a hoop and this one was pierced with a hoop and it didn't give me trouble. But you know what? I'm just gonna get a ball, a bar. Um, I think, but I don't think I'm gonna get it until next year, so I'll keep this until that comes. <laughs> um, still wearing my cat bird uh, moon, which keeps turning, my cat bird star, and a little star from Etsy. Um, and I think that is about it. Yeah, nothing else really going on today. I gotta do a couple of returns. It is cold, so I figured I would just do this now while I uh, waited for the bus. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. If anything happens that's fun, I will come back, but I doubt it. So I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care, bye. Hey guys, so I told you I would come back if anything interesting happened, and it did. I um, had to run a bunch of errands on my lunch hour, so in all of my errands, I walked past one, two, four H&M stores. And so I just went in to browse to see what I could see. And I saw, and I got. I snagged my dress that I wanted. This was the original dress that I wanted from um, Ergem. It's a beautiful floral pleated dress. And I got this one from the H&M on 
uh, 34th Street and they had a size 4, a 6, and 8. And I tried the 6 on, the 6 was a little too tight. So I got the 8. Um, so, yay. And I got 25% off because it was like, they sent me an email today, 25% off everything in store or online. So I got 25% off of it. So yay. I really was hoping to snag the hoodie, the floral hoodie, the one with the big florals, but that's gone. I know I'm never going to get it, but I figured I'd try it. I'm going to haunt eBay and see if I can find a non-gritty person to let it go for $99. I mean, nine, okay, the thing was $69. i will give you $40 over, okay? Why are you asking for any more? Don't be gritty. And I also got the other um, tights. So I got these, uh, these tights. I got the other ones the other day and they were hit and I love them. So I went back and I found these ones. Because for now I'm into floral tights and they wore pretty well. These ones I got in a medium, yay. Um, so let's see. So I went to the H&M on, well by the time you guys get this, unfortunately, <sighs> nothing will probably be there. But check your H&Ms anyway, you never know. Um, so I went to the H&M on 5th Avenue and f I want to say 49th. Um, they had a couple of pieces there. They actually had theirs in a little room um, with a personal shopper. They have a personal shopper room. And they had some, they had a, one pair of the shoes left, the black uh, pointy toed shoes. They had one pair of those in a size of 8. Um, and they had a couple of pieces. Um, the one on 42nd and uh, Broadway and Times Square. They have a couple of pieces. They have more pieces in the men's department. Um, and then the one on 34th Street had these three dresses and a couple of t-shirts. So, uh, hopefully I can snag the hoodie. The hoodie I really want and then that'll be, that would be it. But I'm glad I got the dress because this was what I originally wanted. Um, so, it's very pretty. It's a little higher in the front. So, I'll probably wear this tomorrow or um next week probably tomorrow though i think i have a way of wearing it so yay i'm glad i got it and for 25 percent off can't beat that <laughs> so check your h&ms guys if you still want some stuff you might get lucky you never know all right yay good morning youtube it is thursday what is this november the 9th about to head out. I've got to go to my other building um, and have to make a few returns. And like I said, that lip dress from J. Crew, I got it over the weekend for $43. So I'm going to return the $68 one. <laughs> I, have an, I, I have a thing that I do. Hard to explain, but I do it and I get my money back. Um, yeah, so that is that for today. And I'm going to keep my little butt out of the stores otherwise keep myself out of trouble um yeah so let's get to the outfit i am wearing my erdem from uh, my uh, h&m erdem dress that i just picked up yesterday oh, yay um underneath a cashmere black sweater from um lord taylor and, and a pair of zara uh, loafers Still wearing the Alexander Wang bag and my um, Zara coat. Um, for the eyes, still doing the same thing I've been doing this week. Um, I will change it up next week, but I did like this combination of the rose pinky eyeshadows and the uh, dark gray on the lid. Earrings have stayed the same. My cat bird moon, my cat bird star, the little star from Etsy, and my cat bird ear cuff. Um, and um, <clears throat> just some stacking rings um, and this diamond stacking ring that's held together by this piece. I've had this thing for years. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm about to head out. Uh, gotta pick a, a lip color, but I don't feel like mixing today. So I think we're gonna go with my Lime Crime Teddy, which is perfect because I don't have to mix colors to actually look like this color. <clears throat> no. Maybe I'll mix a little to get it a little lighter. Mix in a little cashmere with it. Yeah, so nothing really planned on the weekend. I'm supposed to get like an Arctic chill 
starting tomorrow. Boo, boo. Not looking forward to cold air, though I can kind of deal with cold air. More so than I can deal with cold air and snow. So, thankfully, we are not getting snow. So, let's see. Do you guys have any plans for the weekends? I'm going to stay put. Yeah, that's how I mix. I just put a little bit. And it'll lighten it up and it'll dry nicely. So that's the outfit for the day. Nothing else going on, I don't think. I will not be coming back to show you any fun stuff because I'm not. Oh, I did find the, um, I did end up ordering the floral hoodie from eBay. I did find a seller who um, had a reasonable rate of extortion. <laughs> Should I told one of you guys on here? Um, and so I just got it because I figured I it, it's less than I would ever get than what it was going on. And I, I haggled a little bit. I was like, look, I know how much this costs. It was $69, okay? Come on. So... I should have that next week, which I will show you. And then I have racked up on the Air Dem collection, Amy style. Screw you, H&M. Although in the end, I've screwed myself because I still wasted my money on H&M. But at this point, it was the principle, okay? I wanted to get the stuff that I wanted. What we do for fashion. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will talk to you next week. Take care, bye.